Good evening, everybody, and welcome along to Inside Line Racing. This is ILR3 on Xbox, and tonight we are at round number 18 with four rounds left of the season. How crazy is that? In Dakota for the United States Grand Prix in Austin, Texas. A track where well, we can see a lot of penalty tonight, I can call it right now. Anyway, I am Jess, one of your commentators this evening, and joining me as per usual is Jack. Hello. Um, yeah, Kota, not my favourite track, and I don't think it's going to be a lot of people's favourite track at the end just because of tyre temps, but I would have thought pretty much everybody would have set a lap on softs or super softs, because the ultras last the best part of about three laps around here before they just overheat and try and spit you in the wall. So, even though I've said before, the two-stop is quicker, just because of the tyre temps, it's not. So, everyone's just banking on going for a one-stop, I would have thought, at this point. Ultras are just... Yeah, they feel amazing in qualifying, but qualifying it just doesn't really mean nearly as much in league racing as it does in real life. Sorry, with the 137.8. Um, would have thought he could have gone quicker with on a set of softs, because actually, ultras and supers, not much difference between them at all from what I've seen in other leagues. No, so uh, it just depends on how they manage their tyre temp, so basically starting on the supers will be easier, so it will be a gamble to go on the ultra softs. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a track where it could be a potential for a two-stop, but we have seen another league one stops are faster. With starting on the supers and going on to the softs, and then working out as well. So uh, it'll be interesting to find out if anyone will, will go on the supers or will they uh, go on the ultras. A lot of people on the ultras at the moment, so we just have to wait for that. Technically, the championship can be decided today, but highly unlikely. All Stu just got to do is win the race and Hamilton should retire and that is pretty much very, very unlikely. So it's going to be, I think, decided in either Mexico or the race after that. So there is potential it could be decided, but Hamilton just has to have a very bad race in order to do that. He rarely has bad races, so yeah. Yeah, That's I think I think Hamilton and Steerage are probably the two most consistent drivers on the grid. And that's why they're so far ahead in the points. It's not because... Um, Everyone's so far behind them in pace, they're just not as consistent. And that's why, yeah, they just run away with it, really. Would have expected a definite promotion next season. If not, uh, well, I don't know what happens if not. Well, usually the person who finished first in a tier, they get promoted up to the next tier up. Because that will mm. face someone who was obviously top of tier two. So, uh, either Hamilton or Sirius, because I think both of them, like I said last week, last, last week I think probably both of them have the chance because uh, they will be looking at the drivers, seeing which ones will be best suited for which tier. And if there's any that need to move up, they move up. And there might be the potential of some people that get to move down. But with ILR 3, you can't go down. So you either go up or you stay where you are. So I just wonder if these guys are going to push a bit more to uh, not get as much DNS. But this has been the most, most best I've seen from most of these drivers pretty much all season. The, the first half of the season has been chaotic, but apart from that, everything has seemed to go quite smoothly, even though was, there was glitches, there was a pit glitch either a few weeks ago, and there was an ILR3 last, last night as well, I believe, so uh, it still hasn't sorted itself yet. I have seen someone go to the 131s lap time, so we haven't seen the fastest time on the Ultras. And as far as weather is, we it's going to be cloudy in and cloudy and race so no rain expected from the race as far as I'm aware well the drivers did tell me that so it is going to be a choice of what tyres are going to go on really yeah um, I'm quite surprised um, Dun Thunder and Leper have actually gone for the ultras because I mean the wear on them is not that bad it's just because of how hot they get and I um, experienced even a set of supers, once the set of supers get worn enough and they start to slide, they just get so hot so quickly, like in the league I was doing the other day. The set of, I think it was the rear right, through sector one, the carcass went from 99 to 106 in one sector. So it Wait, just shows what? yeah, how quickly those tyres can go off. I'm not too sure if it was just because my rear end was sliding a lot and I didn't notice, but I normally go for a planted car. I'm not sure if it was going that much, but yeah. 
I'm not sure if it's just something just generally wrong with this track, because other tracks like Russia, they have a lot of high-speed corners, and they've got the three softest compounds, and you've got one of the lowest deg rates of the year, so I'm not too sure if it's this game or what, but... Yeah, Might avoid tyre temperatures in this on this track. Do you think it's harder than Singapore? Or do you think Singapore's harder than USA? Oh no, this is harder. This is much harder. Because I've seen the drivers complain less about the tyre temperatures in Singapore. I don't know why. Maybe because Singapore's a street circuit and the United States is... Yeah, around not. Singapore it's more... Yeah, around Singapore it's more the fronts than the rears. Around here it's the rears. And that has much more likability of spitting you straight in the wall. So, uh, yeah, don't be surprised if a few people actually spin this race. Yeah, we could see quite a lot of people, especially in the first two corners of the first lap, just possibly watch. There will be some people that overheat their tyres, but uh, I haven't heard from anyone what strategy they're going to go on. They have kept it quiet, but... I have seen people in the chat last week saying, oh, they were going on a different time. But Barry's racing this week, so he's not going to give us a little insight. But uh, here is Steerage in the um, in the Williams, who's our championship leader, but he's on his in-lap at the moment. I'm just trying to see who is on his in-lap. Interestingly enough, I've been pretty much... Nine people have had invalidated laps so far. Only Yeah, it's quite a eight track now. for invalidations as well. Now, I think another... most of those invalidations will probably be turn 19, the second to last corner, and just generally through sector one because it's an S section. You got to expect that sort of thing. Yeah, you got to, you got to expect the cars going to wind down a little bit, and uh, it is probably one of the tracks that, all apart from a couple, will get a penalty, and uh, we may see a few surprises. We'll never know. We'll just have to uh, find out. We've got eight minutes remaining. E um, Easy Fusions, I haven't seen Easy Fusion in weeks, but he is back, I believe, in another Williams, and he's on the Supertops as well. Oh yeah, only one person's on the Ultras at the moment, so uh, they have followed our advice, they must be watching the stream, but uh, I, yeah, oh no, Leper's on the Ultras as well, so it is, it is good for some people to start us off, it could be a bit of a gamble, but... The, the supers will start to run up quicker than the soft, but not by a lot, but with about two or three laps extra. So it could make all the differences in the strategy. We'll just uh, have to find out as we get towards the end of qualifying. I can't really call who's going to get pole, to be honest, because they're just banker times at the moment. But uh, Stewart and Hamilton could be up there. Since it's a trap for tyre tension. Wow. Point. What? I think. Um... The lap for me at the moment is probably a rose rapid. I mean, he's gone two tenths quicker than steerage on a set of soft tyres. So I'm not sure if he, steerage just had a bit of a uh, scruffy lap, but that's a great time from the tour or so. That is pretty good from him. Um, he's changed his game attack, of course. So. Who um, was it before? No, I think it's a rose. Yeah, or it might, or he, or he might be a new driver. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember, but. Or we, or we might be someone that I, 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 it is hard to distinguish between him to be honest, but uh, he's quick, so watch out for him, I must say, um, as he tries to get into the 131 soon, he finds more time as well. So um, I wonder if Hamilton is going for the ultimate strategy. Steve has got nothing to lose tonight, so he can go on any tyre he wants. Um, basically, if, he, if, if Stewart messes up today, it doesn't matter, it will still, the, the title race will still go on for another couple of races, to be honest. It's basically all or nothing for Hamilton. If Hamilton messes up, then that's it, that's game over. But he has to finish. If he finishes and it's in the points, then he still gets a good chance, but Stewart has to win, obviously. Jason, I think, is closing up to third. I think that it will be quite close. But as I was saying, before you interrupted me, because it's a trap for tie temps, it's going to be really hard for people on the pad like Jason. So that's why I think we haven't set, seen a lap time from him yet, because tie yeah. temps and pad doesn't mix. It is this track I think hmm. is best suited with a wheel. Yeah, sorry for interrupting you, but um, yeah, I don't think um, I don't think uh, this track is very pad friendly either. So if ILRT, ILRT Jace manages to get a good result, it's doubly well done because tie temps are hard to keep control of on a pad. That's established. Yeah. This track isn't very pad friendly anyway, so that's established. And it's 
quite bad for invalidation. So if he still starts P13, that would still be a very good drive as well. So there's three factors work working against Jason at the moment. Yeah, but I think he just wants any with that, really. He wants to finish with the points. He's out of the championship. He just wants to race for fun now. But he still want to make his name to make sure that he stays in Isla and uh, he might be a possible one for promotion I don't know I but he's only he hasn't been here for the whole season he's been recognized by the Isla guys to be in the ILRT team so he is quite fast but we'll just have to find out what happens with what's going on let me just look at the championship standings actually to see how everybody else is doing because the championship May he up for the midfield. Don Farner's in third, Jason's in fourth. How what's the gap there? 18 points between no wait, no that's between second and third. Um no wait. No, that's not between second and third, it's between I I I don't know. Uh, P, the gap between P second and P third is 94, then it, between Jason and Dunn Thunder it's 18, so P3 is pretty much still on the cards for Jason if he uh works his craft he did get one win this season and um, don't find hasn't won any so he's uh if he gets more consistent results he'll be up there steering and hamilton are quite equal on wins to be honest uh hamilton getting the the, the double last week one last week and one the week before so he's got the momentum going into the next race but uh they're on the supers and series is the fast one at the moment but it's nice to see people that are faster than Steerage and Hamilton at the moment, but you know, probably know them. They can probably uh, turn the engine mode up and, uh, lit lit well, not literally, but you know what I mean, like turn the party mode up and uh, they could get power or something. But yeah, I'm quite shocked at the moment. Yeah. Easy Fusion sets the pole time at the moment on the set of supers, so. Yeah, as I said, um, that uh, supers and ultras gap is almost nothing really because ultras will start overheating at the end of the lap so supers near the end where all the traction zones are will get better launches than the ultras in general i mean if dun thunder stays second to easy fusion i'm sort of expecting him to dive up the inside into turn one because he's on the softer rubber yeah. he is on the inside line as well so he does have plenty of opportunity to get ahead i mean to be honest if i was starting here i'd rather start second than first because in real life as well we've seen p1 P1 and 2 changed twice in the last two years, so plenty of chance to get into the lead. And it is a potential that uh, obviously we did see the Mercedes dominance in real life, but obviously we did see Kimi Raikkonen win last time about in real life, which I was, even though I am a Hamilton fan, I, I was so happy that Raikkonen did the race victory, so... That was nice. <clears throat> that was nice. My throat is going absolutely crazy right now. But anyway, um, Arose just set a bet. Oh no, he's on his uh, outlap at the moment, I believe. And uh, Barry's just retired for the session. He's not going to set a lap time. Zanardi, Dark Phoenix, and Jason's still not on a lap time. And everyone else is pretty much on there. I think Jason's. Zanardi's not going to set one. He hasn't got enough time. He's going to start P15. Oh, he's in the pit. Yep, he's not going to have time at all because and Atlantis is not going to set another time. Times are pretty much spread out, I think, compared to last last week. So you, you, you're right in saying that Kota may not be a popular draft for some of the drivers. Jason is having a very long out of that by the sound of things. But I think he's going to have time to uh, set one more lap, I think, if he gets into the track. In, in time as well for most of these guys. Oh, ABS, yeah, I told you. I told you they were going to get the party mode up. Hamilton's just... What a lap as well. ...gone fastest for the 131.8. That is well into the 131. So, it's going to take some tough going for Steerage to beat that. He's going through set to three now. Oh, oh! He's a, he was a second faster than his previous best. 131.6. So, I think he did have a bit of a spirit scruffy lap beforehand because they've turned up the wick. I think um, ABS Hamilton's gone again straight away. So he's going to have a lap more on those tyres and probably more like three laps because these are being pushed right to the edges. So they're going to have that extra bit of wear on them. Uh, Steerage is not going to set another lap. He's gone wide and rapid gets ahead of them both. 
Wow. There's a battle. Who can go quicker between Hamilton and Rapid and at the moment? If Hamilton doesn't improve, then Steerage has got P2. Yes, and uh, it's nice to see someone different on, on the top of the timesheets at the moment. So we usually have a two-way fight for pole. We have a three-way fight for pole, but Hamilton uh, Steerage is slowing down. So technically, only Hamilton can uh, beat Rapid's time. He's uh, he's really he's really got to turn up the notch at the moment to uh, beat Steerage because oh, otherwise he's going to have someone that he doesn't know really well. Um, start ahead of him, and that's going to set a disadvantage. Oh, that was a bit of a slide. No, he didn't improve at all. He lost about one tenth on that lap. Steerage is obviously running slow. Rapid doesn't need to go up at all. Hopefully, he knows that Hamilton has finished his lap, so he can go um, slow down. Oh, he's slowing down as well, so he knows that you know there's a few people struggling already. But don't find has just gone. One ten faster, a bit on that after that final sector, and he improves. He goes to four, but not pole. Another one who did well last week, Unity Gilbert. He's still in the running as well. The last person to go on the lap. We we'll just have to find out. We do see Williams going wide. I think I was probably steered. I think I'm going to try to One play two zero. That puts him to P four, but not enough for pole. So rapid. Who hasn't got pole before, I believe, in Iron R3. Has got pole and has, has separated Sears and Hamilton. Oh my, oh my. We haven't seen that a lot this season, or we haven't seen that many different poles. We only see mainly Hamilton and Sears get it, so that's exciting. Yeah, it's good lap by Rapid as well. I mean, he's two tenths ahead of Sears, and Sears is probably the most prolific qualifier on the grid, so um, he's going to be feeling a bit dethroned at the moment. Yeah, and uh, but at the moment, Steerage is ahead of Hamilton, which I think is enough if he's got to go ahead. Because if he stays ahead of Hamilton anyway, I think he's going to increase the gap a little bit going into Mexico. And that means that's going to put the, ch the position he needs to finish down next week um, on if he wants to win the championship. So he, he, Steerage is where he needs to be right now. He doesn't need to win. I think that's what's that's not what Stewart is aiming for. He wants to win, but he won't be that disappointed if he doesn't. He's he's a kind of a true sportsmanship like that. Not as close as last week, but well done to Rapid on that lap with Stewart in second, Hamilton in third, Unity Gilbert in fourth, Dunfunder in fifth, Easy Fusion in sixth, Dark Phoenix seventh, Adolf in eighth, Jason in ninth, Leppert in the rounds up your top ten with AGH in eleventh, Titan Prime twelfth. Atlantis 13th, Barry 14th, and Zanari not saying a lap time there. Oh, Rapids left a session. They'll probably have the two a, um, old APS boys on the start, but Jason managed to set a lap time, so pretty impressive. He managed to get one in because obviously it's very tough on those conditions. So, And uh, th these guys now have been told to be careful through turn one, so that's going to be interesting. And someone's just asking in the chat, why is it not wet? <laughs> You did say it was going to be easier in the I mean, wet. it would help people if it was wet. Have a bit of a 2015-style race. Yeah. Lewis Hamilton, I think, still won. Or was it one of the other Mercedes? I can't remember. But, um, I think it uh, was Hamilton in 2015. Yeah, because he won yeah. the title there. Or he won the constructors mm. there. One of the two. I don't know. Well, speaking of... All the... down to a gust of wind, says Nico Rosberg. <laughs> I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if it was a gust of wind. I'm not saying it wasn't, but it could yeah. have been. Speaking of the championship, though, for the constructors, it's, it's closing up between... Oh, Reese has had a power cut. Pardon what? The guy that's on pole has had a power cut. Oh, no. So he's not going to get the start he wants because he's had a power cut. That is... That is just bad luck right there. Can someone who is in his area please, please fix it now? <laughs> So he can race and go back in. But technically, he can still go back in. So, uh, oh my God, Jack. <laughs> what? I just read what you put in the what? Twitter chat. I didn't see anything. I just put what... You... Oh, I was only joking. Anyway, sorry about that. I, it was some, it was to get a little bit of banter anyway. Um, so, that means I think it's going to be a battle on the line between Steerage and Hamilton and possibly Unity as well uh, to get a move into turn one. Um, 
I think they might be restarting if Rapids is going to get in, but I don't want to wait a while to get a lap in. We'll just have to find out. We'll see what Rapid thinks. So we'll just keep an eye on to see what happens as we go on. I'm just trying to find tyres. Oh, there we go. Everyone's on the super softs up to P8. And P10, 12, 13, and 14 on the uh, 15. Um, I want a super. They went out on the softs, which is Jason, AG8, and mm. Barry. Now, Jason's done the right thing to go on the softs because it would be hard. we down the straight. Yeah. <laughs> that looked really weird. <laughs> what? For who? Everybody was weaving on the straight. I was struggling to keep up with things, but um, I'll be sure to remember to actually do my supercharge award this time. Yeah, well, we actually remember last week, which was quite nice. So yes, because you reminded me. <laughs> yeah, I will remind you again. I will remind you again. I forgot to. Uh... I'll just remind myself. Yeah, well, see, actually, I won't say anything and see if you remember this. I chose. I, I, if I, if I, <sighs> if if you forget, I'll, I'll uh, mention it. Anyway, steerage is technically on pole because Rapid is disconnected. Well, if steerage starts on P2 and everyone just sort of lines up behind him, and steerage has sort of got a free run up to turn one, he hasn't really got to worry about anyone attacking him unless he gets an absolute shocker of a start. And I think he is going to P2. Yeah, and uh, Rapid, I think, is probably not going to start at all because he's in the pit. So yeah. He, he, he has told the admins that start without start without him because the power cut is going to take a while. That is unfortunate. I really hope he does well next week. I'm praying. I just feel bad for him. Anyway, we're here at sunny Coast Grand Prix in Austin, Texas. The lanes are the last people to cross the line. Oh, there we go. Yeah, uh, Rapid is in the back of the grid now. So four lights, five lights. And it is lights out, and away we go. And Stewart has got on to a good start. But Hamilton's going to try and oh, come into turn he? one. Blimey, he's got the move, and we also got Unity uh, fighting in as well. I think Hamilton just had the edge over Stewart going into that first corner. I think he pulled away ever so slightly a bit more. So Hamilton's in the lead, Stewart in second, Gilbert in the other Red Bull in third, with East Fusion in fourth. Those are the two championship contenders. Jason's up in one place. As well, so far looking all clean into turn one. That is very good to see. Um, not much carnage, which I think I was I was expecting to be more carnage, but there wasn't. So that is a uh, win as well. Dun Dunfund has dropped it as well, and uh, Dunfund is going to try and make a move into turn. Um, I don't. I'm losing count on turns, but uh, don't fund it down to four. But oh, we got Force India. Force India, McLaren, and a Ferrari. And McLaren, and Force India. It was Dice, Jason, and Ados. Oh no, so uh, they lost a bit of time then, that's not going to help them with their position, but uh, East Fusion and Dunfund are fighting now side by side in sector 2. Uh, looks like East Fusion got a better line and he does, and he's up in fourth place, but uh, I think Dunfund are maybe, pu maybe pushing pushed his tyres in qualifying a little bit too much, we'll just uh, have to find out soon as well, but my oh my. I think Hamilton just had the better jump from steerage there on the line and that's why he's still in the lead but this could be a battle that goes on for quite a while. Yeah, um, just to cut in, I don't think it was um, Hamilton or Gilbert actually getting a particularly good start because I saw everyone going away from the field at reasonable pace, just think steerage just didn't get a very good start at all. I think I might have done a bit of a commentator's curse on him there a bit. Because the Red Bulls were either side of him going into turn one. He managed to defend off Gilbert, but Gilbert is still very close behind him. So I'm not sure if he's going to be able to defend from him for very long. I think he might be not having the best setup because I see the rear end of it squirming all around the place from Gilbert's on board. Hmm. I think that spin ILRT Jason and Ados had was Dun Thunder's past Easy Fusion as well, by the way. Wow. And um, not. I think it was just Ados went into a spin. Jason sort of. I think he might have got a bit spooked and spun around with him, so I'm not too sure what happened there, but look at Atlantis! Blimey! Well, at the moment, he's one of our contenders for the charge award, or he's got one more lap, he's, got, he's basically got the final a couple of corners, well, the final sets to get another position, so it could be someone that could uh, beat him, like Zanardi or something, but wow, he started from, he started from like, 
Well, 13. But now he's up to fifth. 13. That is crazy. So he must be doing well with those tyre temps. And he's right, right he's uh, not that far from Dunfunnel as well. But obviously Dunfunnel's on the softer tyre, so of course he's going to be faster. But as I was saying that, I think I might have jinxed him a little bit. As he is struggling ever so slightly. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be tight. Oh, he's just got a penalty. We've got him right behind Atlantis as well. And Atlantis so will be past him. Atlantis also gets a supercharge. And what I mean, he's up eight, about to be up nine, I think, because Dun Thunder's tyres have overheated. Yep. Nice move down the inside. No lock ops whatsoever. Dun Thunder can't hold the grip. Somebody's hit him. That was not a spin. I didn't see that. Oh my, so he almost uh, hit someone else as well. I don't know who who hit Dumb Thunder. I didn't really see that on the cameras. That was very unlucky yeah, for Dumb think... Thunder. Was actually all oh, Dumb Thunder's not liking his rear tyres at all. He's gone round again. He's almost hit the wall. He did say in the chat that starting the Ultra Softs would be best, but probably he's a. Uh, Gambling on that strategy now. Regretting that. Yeah, he's regretting it. Because he did say it does go from like one type temp to another really fast. And that's what these ultras are doing. And uh, Easy Fusion just made another move on it. Oh, that was a bit of a slide almost by both of them. Number 22 car, Easy Fusion gets, gets the switch back done. He's back up into P4. Wow! Ooh. <laughs> that was close from Atlantis. That would have been a nice move if we got that move done, but uh, Easy Fusion was just right there, and uh, he was. I think Easy Fusion was committed more than Atlantis, I must say, to get that done. So that's why he's up there in fourth stage, though not that far behind Hamilton. Um, but uh, looking like from that camera shot that he's not going to make the move into turn one. Nope, he is not. But he's closer than he was before, so this could be intense. Leopard, on the other hand, doing quite well. You do see some trouble doing Those yellows are for Dun Thunder. Dun Thunder. I think he's going to get lapped. At some yeah, point. my prediction of the Ultras is correct, I think. Yeah, is he going to go to the pit or is he going to stay out? Yep, yeah, he's pit. going he's to got the pit. pit. Yep, yeah, he must do it at the moment, so he's probably going to be a two stop for him so uh, that is very unfortunate but hopefully he can recover and uh, yeah well done to uh, Easy Fusion as well for uh, going up to fourth at the moment and uh, yeah, Atlantis is really liking his setup isn't he yeah I mean uh, he was having a go at Easy Fusion and the guy started down eight positions from where he is and like he's still attacking he's not afraid to send that down the inside although AGH, on the other hand, is sending up the inside of Atlantis. Atlantis gets a switch back up to the other hairpin. This is the same move we saw Ricardo and Vettel do. Hopefully one of them just doesn't spin around randomly. No, they hasn't. AGH still got the outside line. Atlantis is going to hold it in. Don't have any lockups. Don't go too wide. AGH tries to get the switch back again, but he doesn't get momentum. I think Atlantis is going to keep that through turn 17. Unless his temperature is starting to buy him a bit, because AGH is sticking to the back. I'm not too sure he's actually going to get this. I think it might... Go to DRS Atlantis goes wide. Oh, that was unfortunate for Atlantis, I must say. So that's allowing AJH to catch up as well. Uh, to get, he's going to get AJ, AJRS. Is, AJ, AJRS. AJH is going to get DRS. And he's trying to make a really audacious move on Atlantis there, but it just wasn't enough space. And Easy Fusion took that battle, really pulling away from Atlantis by. Two seconds, so yes, yeah, he's doing quite well to uh, manage that gap a little bit. In a few laps, that, well, that's where we can see the first people start to pick up their one. The old Bobby Dump under the food already because he, his tyres were struggling and uh, going into Narnia. It's like the new Hypersofts of uh, Singapore, but uh, if the Hypersofts were in the uh, US, it would have it wouldn't have lasted, to be honest. But they're thankfully wouldn't have lost half a lap. <laughs> thankfully, the Hypersofts are gone. 2019, I believe. <laughs> so <laughs> that's going to be pretty much relief, but uh, they're still going at each other. And so is the Hass as well. Lever's not that far behind, but look at what AJ. Oh, that was close. AJ almost lost it. He's going to challenge. Lever's challenging him now. Freeway fight for fifth. And 
is uh, Leffers saying, oh, AJH could make a mistake, I could possibly capitalise, and uh, that's what he's doing, so very intense battle between that lot. Alliance is starting to pull it away ever so slightly, just like the Fusion did earlier on as well. Jason's still down in 12th, and AJH is getting another penalty, so possibly AJH is not challenging that much because he knows that he's going to gain that penalty, but he might be wrong. AJ is looking to get the right hand side line, but if I was him, I would take the left, but Atlantis is probably going to cover it. Zanardi think. as well behind him. Zanardi well. and Dark Phoenix. Oh! Oh my word. I just caught that. They almost took, well, they almost touched. Well, they touched a lot. That but... was a 2016 Max Verstappen style of um, moving under braking. And uh, he'll be like, what are you doing, man? Um, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, for staff and I think we'll learn to not do those much audacious moves, but uh, in real life, obviously. But uh, hey ho, uh, your the gap is still hovering between four tenths and five tenths between Hamilton and Steerage. So I think for those two, it's going to come down to pit stop. But Atlantis and AJH are at it again. Atlantis manages to gain more speed in the straights. I think that's why he all this time to pull away. But I think you made a bit of a mistake. Oh, my word. Oh. Atlantis, I think. Oh, AJH has spun. He's lost a bit of his end plate. But I think AJH has nowhere to go from that. Oh, he's got to be careful. Atlantis has dropped as well. Has Atlantis got? I can't yeah, read Yeah, Atlantis. Off. Atlantis, I think what happened there, Atlantis tried to do a bit of a Ricciardo reversal, as I like to call it, and then dart back to the inside again. And I think he took complete blame for that and held up and waited for him to go back past. So, um, fair dues to Atlantis, but I think they've just, he's just made a bit of a hindrance to both of their races. I think AJH went a lot earlier than Atlantis thought he was going to, and that's why he went straight into the back. Atlantis got quite a big chunk missing off the left side of his front wing. There's a lot less turning veins there on the left side than now on the right side. So, um, I'm not sure if he's going to pit or what, but Titan Prime up the inside of Zanardi. Zanardi goes back around the outside. Oh, AJ, oh, we did see Salva go off again. Is that Bar oh, it's Barry this time. So the Salvas are definitely struggling. He's hopefully he's not gonna. He's got. Oh, luckily Ados and oh, Dome hang on. Steerage and Hamilton are a lot closer together this time. Yes, they are. The straight is definitely gonna help both of them. Steerage getting the better straight. He's gonna. Looks like he's gonna get the right hand side move. But Hamilton just commits. He just knows where he is and he knows he's got a championship fight on his hands and he's like, no, nope, I want this to carry on. I don't want to DNF. I want to finish ahead of steerage so I can close the gap a bit more. So it's going to be it's going to be yeah, He's going to have to really think. He's going to have to really think about where he wants to send it up the inside because I think his best bets... I think we've got the, actually the same scenario as last week. Hamilton's got a hard straight, uh, quicker car in the straight line, and Steerage has got a quicker one in the corners. That's why he's sometimes so close behind him in the corners. And then look, Hamilton just pulls away before he gets a good chance to utilise his DRS and send one up the inside. But through the corners, he's just so much closer to Hamilton. But again, like you see in Japan, there's not really anywhere to overtake in the corners around here. No. It is quite difficult to overtake around these corners, especially around that tight bend, bend, and that is why we're seeing quite a few people get penalties today. Dark Phoenix is just uh, going into the pitch right now to change all his uh, fresh set of tyres there. I think what Sturridge is doing, Sturridge knows he's got nothing to lose this race, and uh, it's probably going to get to a stage if, uh, he can't, if he can't fully commit towards the end, then it's going to cost him. And, Jason has got a three second time penalty. Not really that surprised at the moment, but he's back up into P8, so he's still trying to gain some more ground because obviously a lot of people have pitted or um, had a few issues already. So uh, he's, he's, try he's trying his best, he's working hard to make sure he gets it potentially done. And I'm just trying to see if there's any other battles. Jason's not that far behind Titan Prime. He's going to make, he's going he's to take the left hand side line. Breaker just pulled a 50 meter board. Very tight entry. 
Jason nicely done there for him and he's up in back well for his P7. Um, and he's still got to chase Sonardi, he's not that far behind him, so that's going to be quite an intense battle, I must say. Sonardi up nine at the moment. He's probably the biggest gainer. I mean, he started in last. So, uh, yeah, he's really capitalised. I think Jason's tyres still look like they have a lot left to give. I mean, he's getting good turning. He's getting good acceleration out of corners. I mean, he's not... I don't think he has cause to pit yet for good. He's probably double what he's done so far on those soft tyres and then just put a set of supers at the end. No ultras, because, you know, you saw what happened to Dun Thunder when he put on ultras. So, uh, yeah, just don't touch those. Wait a minute. Jason was almost going to make a move on Zanazi, but... He left it a little bit too late there, so he stayed where he is in seven. He's got to be, be careful because Time Prime is still right behind him to try and close up. And that is the closest battle we are seeing on track at the moment. Everyone else is uh, not, you know, a bit further behind to actually get moves done at the moment. As uh, Barry's in last place at the moment. But don't forget, Barry has had an injury, so it is his first race back. So uh, Yeah. We're not expecting him to do well, but we are expecting him to finish. So uh, I think if he finishes, I think that will be an achievement in itself for him. So welcome back, Barry. Hope you hope you better getting better, mate. Um, it's good to see if he committed to something. But anyway, um, Hamilton's already falling away. He's definitely getting more um, speed um, in a lot of straights at the moment. So uh, he's going to get more of an advantage as well i'm just i'm just gonna go back to tires a minute just so i can see how long these guys i think the only ones that have changed are the ones that had issues which i mm. think is dumb Thunder who pitted in around about lap three ados pitted quite early as well Dark oh fusion's finished. pitted and left is pitted they've pitted pretty much at the same time so this could be a battle of pit crew between people on the side but uh zanardi happens to go a lap longer because he doesn't want to be um, stuck by his teammate in pit lane, and he doesn't want to stack the cars because that's going to lose him about, at worst, to another uh, maybe three seconds, four seconds. Yeah, I think the so teammate. So he does not want to lose any time to a hunting Jason at the moment because uh, Jason is currently on a harder tyre. They've hit the crossover point a few laps, like a couple laps ago, I think. That's why he's so much quicker in the corners at the moment. He's almost hit the back of the Haas then, going through the long right hander in sector one. otherwise you will get stuck and I think a big those teammates you've got if you have another teammate on board you, you have to work together on when you get a pit or go in a party or something but Jason he doesn't have a teammate on tonight so he can just afford to pit when he wants which is going to be a huge advantage for Jason and some other guys who, just, who are just uh, running their own team tonight um, I think I think I think the only thing I think he's the only one that's going to get that advantage. Everyone else, uh, it would be rapid as well, but rapid on the out. And uh, oh, I think Jason almost had to move on to Nardi there. That was close. <laughs> and, uh, oh, oh, serious pits. And Hamilton as well. Hamilton gets a very good pit stop. Uh, I think Steerage the Williams crew sort of hesitated to let him out a bit there. He's got to come out. Three seconds behind Hamilton? Yeah, which I think... Yeah, about three seconds. Yeah, and Zanani's in P4, so he's catching up, but I'll go so he has to pit. Look at Easy Fusion now in Atlantis. There, Easy Fusion, I think, had the move done on Atlantis because he was on... He was, he was tired. Super Soft are starting to run out, but Atlantis is going to challenge Easy Fusion. No, go away, camera. Um, you put me on the wrong camera. I don't want that. So I have to go on board, which is annoying. But anyway... He's fusion up and manages to hold on due to the back of those tyres than you are, and the seats are starting to run out. If I was them, I would uh, go out now onto a set of softs, but um, it, 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 it's just a question. It's just a question. Well, he's allowed to be where he wants to run, start being fully really pitted. But you can tell he's weaving a bit more on the straight as well, so yes, we'll definitely get that cut on the point. But Zanardi's having no trouble at all, but Jason getting a bit more speed on the straight. He's gonna try and dive it around Zanardi. Is that a close again? 
Jason is fully committed to get that move done. We can't hit anyone, otherwise it's going to be a consequences. He's going to try once again for another move. We've got um, Titan Prime as well joining in the fun. Um, Jason also still yet to pit as well, so... It, the moves that he makes is absolutely audacious. I'm very impressed, especially on the, on the pad, to be honest. It's not he's staying out. Wow. Oh, Jason. I uh, didn't want to do that, mate. That was a big cut. I mean, I'm surprised the Nardi's staying oh out. Whoa! God. Big lag spike. That was like uh, Azerbaijan 2017. Uh, 18. No, not 18. I was thinking about the Red Bulls hitting each other on brakes, but... No, I was thinking about Hamilton and Vettel brake checking in the safety car. Oh! I was thinking of that and uh, Vettel going pretty annoyed, but... Um, Oh, oh Jason. Jason, what are you doing, fella? If he, if he wants to get third in this championship, he can't afford to get time penalty, mate. Anyway, um, he's a temp behind Tanadi, but he's not going to be on track. Oh, Tanadi is lagging a bit, no. though. Or it might be just me, I don't know. He has got one bar for me as well, so I think it's his internet, but he is an American racing against a load of Europeans, so you've got to sort of anticipate these things. I think Jason will get past this time. He's going to dive. Yep, he gets a better line and he's up into four. Uh, it's got to be, it has to be done at some point. So not only is getting a lag spike and he's on a 11 lap use supers, which is probably been using quality as well. AJH so. goes for it as well. Ooh. All that was close from AJH, I must say. How long do those supers last? I think they don't last. Well, I mean, softs, I mean, my bad. Quite a Dude, there's only half that gap he had between himself and uh, Hamilton when they came out of the pits. Oh my word. So, looks like... Looks like Keyes Fusion has done well to pit when he did. Unity Gilbert's still in third, pitting a lap ago, so... But he's a bit too further behind to the AP, uh, APS Hamilton on steerage, so I thought he's not going to catch up to them. But he could get another podium for his second race here, and that would be amazing for him. That would be pretty darn good, but I'm not going to say any more, because otherwise I would uh, commentate his curse. Commentate his curse. Yeah, I don't We've got that. a bad reputation of that, so we won't say anything. No, um, I think I have a bad reputation for most things I commentate. I always have one commentator's curse. I think AJH might be going for a dive. Yes, he does. Zanardi breaks really early. He's got really worn super soft tyres on at this point. I think he might, have, might as well just let him pass. I think Titan Prime will also be there as well. I don't think Zanardi's going to get benefit of DRS. He doesn't because AJH went over the activation zone bef off, well, after him, yeah. Because uh, And then he made the dive up into the hairpin. But I don't think Titan Prime's just close up. AJH actually goes a little bit deep there. AJH's tyres will probably keep going until that... 18 and then he'll pit for a set of supers maybe a bit later Jason already pulling away from AJH as well, Zanardi's close behind him, I don't think on those supers he's going to get a benefit and actually catch back up to Sauber, I think wisely he'll probably pit this lap and put on a set of softs what? That... no, he's going to keep on going how's he going to keep on going I don't know but Zanardi and Titan are Fighting for position, but they still going to get to a point where they're going to have a puncture. We don't want to see a puncture here. Um, but at least we're going to. Oh, that was a touch from. Uh... Oh, I didn't see that touch from the big speed fusion and time prime there. Um, that came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting them to, them to be uh, close up that fast. But Stewart just found mm. a little bit more time from those pit stops. It was two or three seconds a moment ago. Now it's one point. It was about nine tenths a second ago. Now it's one second, so. Steward is finding a little bit more. Oh, easy fusion is now in between Titan Prime and Zanardi. No, absolutely no time wasted in getting past Zanardi there. He's got a fresh ish set of softs on. Four laps old. I mean, on my screen it says he's got super softs on the car, but in the corner, Ados, first retirement of the race. How do yellows in sector one and two? So I think he. Probably the start of 
Oh, I see his car. I see his car. Where is it? He's um. Oh, Atlantis just gone off. We're well, about the same area. Atlantis um went off uh after the long right hander in sector one. I think uh Ados got caught on one of the curves in the S's and just got spat round and hit the wall. It's on the left. I'm not sure if you'll see it on APS Hamilton's car. Still look over to the left. I don't think his car's there anymore. No, no. it's not. You can see the debris, though, where it is in the grass. Yeah. Well, I think like we learned last week, there's still debris off the track, but they don't clear it because uh, it doesn't affect the drivers. The start has got another penalty. I'm just going to see um, what the last five laps were. Who's got the fastest laps so far? Like, fast lap is uh, by 10 by series at the moment. 152, so he's closing in quite nicely there onto Hamilton. This could be interesting. He's got DRS. Well, I'm definitely gonna... Not a lot of battery though. No. 60, 10%. He's not gonna close in enough to uh, get that DRS done, but he's a huge Oh, Atlantis has gone off again. He's gonna have to get out of the way pretty quickly. Ah, uh, is he? You're just going to park it and let him pass. Yeah, he doesn't want to ruin championship battles. He knows there's a championship battle between these two, and uh, he, knows, he knows his limits, to be honest. And, uh, looks like we've got another two strikes between Fusion and Jason. Lance is struggling again. Easy Fusions made his way through that pack already. So um, he's on it. He's on it. He's made his way back up to P4. He's still eight seconds behind Gilbert, so I'm not too sure how much of a difference that'll make. Now Lance has had enough. He's retired. I mean, it's a shame because he had such a good start as well. At one point, he was up nine by like three laps, but. And he had the supercharger wall there. Yeah. Oh, his car's right on the racing line. I'm surprised there wasn't any safety car. It's disappeared already. Good. Enough, you have to do another thing. But oh, oh, Titan Prime is struggling. He's hit the wall. Why haven't they pitted yet? I don't know because uh, the tyres are rubbering right now. They need to work even harder to make sure they get to the end. They've got to pit like in the next lap, otherwise, punches. So, Nani's still in seventh though, so not all is lost for him, but he's gonna lose. Dangerous ground between those two as well. AJ is getting a better run on, on, the, on, the, on the corners by the looks of things. He's getting a better run on the straight. AJ looks like he's going. He's, J Jason is going defensive though. AJ H takes right hand side line. Does he fully stitch quick? No, he doesn't. Jason holds on. Easy fusion. Stop it. Yeah, but Lance is not happy, he's left. Saying bye bye. Uh, I think someone took him out. Or was it, uh, no, someone took Aiden off out, apparently. According to the chat. Well, I don't know who. But, um. We could, I think a battle we could see tonight are the battle for the fifth or fourth, and the battle for the win as well. So, very interesting as well. Yeah, I hope he's not going to put on a set of ultras. I don't. Oh, he is. Those aren't going to last, my friend. He's doing a dump under. Why? What are you doing, mate? And not for the last ten laps. Think of that. It'll probably last eight or seven laps. That is a big. Not even that. Say more like six. Stop will be faster. I don't know. Titan Prime's in the pit. Titan Prime has uh, not made the same mistake as uh, Zanardi. He's gone to a set of soft, though. Titan yeah, Prime. I think that's a wise decision. Judging by what happened to Thunder. Yeah, I think he's seen what happened to Titan Thunder and he's like, no, nope, I'm not going to be in the same position as that, I think. So, uh, GG. Jason is going to try and make a move again. I think AJ got past Jason while he's talking about the uh, struggle a bit. He must have. 
well, it's not the other way around, but I'm not entirely sure. But uh, AJ just makes a good round, but don't forget AJ just got a penalty. We've still got 10 laps to go. I think the top three hasn't got any penalties. Easy Fusion might have one, but we will check towards the end because we're not at the end yet, so. Hmm. So I've got 10 laps to go. US Grand Prix though is quite long, isn't it? It feels like that, doesn't it? Nor's on the Singapore. Bit of Singapore. Though. Bit of Singapore ish. No, so I think the US say Grand Prix is around about 43, 45 minutes. In the present, whereas Singapore is 52. I don't know, I can't really tell. Yeah. Especially when there's rain in Singapore, because that will definitely take you to over an hour. I mean, yeah, in terms of the lead, the top three at least, we see ourselves in exactly the same situation we did last week. They're just stuck behind Hamilton. They've both gone for the same-ish setups that they did last week. Hamilton goes on the straight, Steerage in the corners. Gilbert's again in a sort of a world of his own. He's not as quick as Hamilton and Steerage at the moment, but he's quite considerably quicker than what the rest of the pack are doing. Uh, Easy Fusion's pretty on his own. AJH has got a leper all over behind him. Dark Phoenix has done a bit of a recovery. I would have thought maybe his softs can last to the end. If he takes care of them, they will. Jason is on a set of supers, so he'll probably maybe catch Zanardi. Depends what Zanardi does with his temperatures. Um, apart from that, bottom three aren't up to much. So it's really the top two and fifth and sixth. Not fifth and sixth because AJH just pitted. Um, it's just the top two that are really going for it at the moment. If we take Hamilton and Steerage out of the equation, the best of the rest is Unity, Gilbert. So we could do well next season in our last season stays there. And, uh, don't you get... Oh, and I spoke... Oh, God. <laughs> what Told you you were bad for it. Okay, I am so sorry, Gilbert. I just jinxed you and it just... Oh, my God. He got a time penalty, as I was saying. It's not going to affect it, I don't think. He's 13.8 seconds clear. Uh, no, he's 7.2 seconds clear of Easy Fusion. So as long as Easy Fusion doesn't find a bit more time than that, he's going to be fine. Sorry, chat. Mm. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm not too sure um, how many penalties the top two have got, but I know I have seen Steerage's name pop up a couple times. I'll just quickly go see how many each of them have got. I won't say, but yeah. I'll let you have a look at that because obviously I can't look because obviously I am I'm watching the race so far and I will interrupt the race. Daddy, the steerage is not the steerage is closing up on Hamilton though and corners again. Okay. I think I can say. Um Hamilton's got two warnings. And Steerage is one away from a second penalty. So even if Steerage does pass him at the moment, he'll have to clear him by three seconds. Three seconds before he wins. That is a tough order. I think Hamilton, I think, probably will know that Steerage is uh, closing. But Hamilton's got to be careful. He doesn't want to gain the penalty, otherwise, he's even stealing. Um, between the new top two, but Zero just closing up to get another as well. So um, I did say it was penalty central, but Zero is doing a little bit too aggressive on that corner there. So um, he still starting to lose a bit of grip, I don't know. But he is, I think he's pushing quite a lot on ATO Hamilton, but that could be a consequence if he uh, tries to avoid the track limits a little bit. He's got to stay within the track, obviously. And uh, go away. Uh, with I don't really like that. Anyway, DRS is open. Oh, a bit of 
look up from Sirius Oh, that's a dive. And looks like Sirius stayed second, but obviously if Sirius takes the lead, obviously he's going to be second clear. And Jason. Jason's not that far behind Tenardi. Jason must got, get so many penalties and so many penalties in this race already. But he's on the pad. Yeah, I'll check so. how many penalties Jason has. Jason's going to try and make a move down the inside. Does he do it? Oh, they, oh. looks like Nani had a bit of a advantage off the trap there. Uh, but he didn't. So Jason is doing sixth place. So he's, Jason's doing Yeah, well. so, <laughs> I mean, he's going to have to make... A massive gap because he's got four penalties. Four. Wow. He, he's got. He's got. He's got to be clear Zanardi, which I don't think he's going to. Zanardi, I don't. I don't know how these tyres are going to go to the end. To be honest with you. It, it, no, I think they're overheating already. It's going to be a bit of a shock. I mean, I saw him. Yeah, I saw him zigzagging a lot more than he should have been through um, sector one. So I don't think his tyres are going to last. If I'm honest, he may as well just come in, put on a set of supers, and just coast to the end. Yeah, I I wouldn't risk it to be honest with you. Um, but I think Leffert's doing quite well as well. He's 11 seconds clear of Jason, so he's going to be in fifth. He's been staying out of much trouble today, which is good. I'm not sure how many penalties Leffert's got as well. Um, the race from the midfield could be decided on penalties. Um, at this rate, which means. To be honest, we don't want to happen is uh oh, steerage looks like he was gonna get moved. He stays where he is at the moment though. Well uh, obviously county yeah, oh he's got the ice up oh he's gonna actually see it open and that was probably weird. Anyway, I see he's gonna get the right hand side again. Mm. He's probably got the same move as uh Jason and Leopard did earlier, but oh there's a bit of a touch from Steve. Hamilton there. We'll look up again from the steerage in that corner. Quite common for him to uh, move. At least they're still fighting though. That is good, but not going to say anything more. Um, we don't want any of them to stay. Let's see how the ERS are doing. Hamilton's got better ERS than the steerage. Steerage's ERS is starting to run out right now, so. Oh, steerage going wide. a little bit yes he has but obviously he's still trying to get the speed on the corner he's got the RS he's not gonna get the move done now he's gonna stay right behind Hamilton right now with Jason he's got Zanardi behind him Jason is starting to struggle on those speakers um how is Zanardi keeping it on the track I don't know it's yeah I He's got a pit soon. Those ultras are just overheating like crazy. I mean, to be fair, he's not that... I mean, you must know Jason has all those penalties because if he didn't, he would have pitted by now. He's not doing that bad. I can give him credit for that. He's... He, he, he is trying his best. He probably would have thought that the two stop would have been faster, but, but clearly it's not. He's going to try and make the move the turn one. Take a different line. Than what people usually do. Oh, Zanardi goes off track. He's getting a bit of an advantage there, by the way. Okay. Dumbfunder's not having the best race. He's got another three second time penalty at this moment. Yeah, but these tyres. Oh, Zanardi almost hit Jason. That was close. And he's lost a bit of time on that. Yeah, they are starting to run more in there. are starting to struggle. Those ultras. He's got a pit like now. He's probably regretted that yeah. mistake. He's done a dumb thunder. So. I would have thought the best strat, I mean, he did start on supers. The best strat would have been just been to pit on like lap 11, 12, and then come in for a set of softs and keep on going. Yeah. I thought, I thought he would have gone on softs, to be honest, which is why I was shocked. He might have thought he was going to do it, but. I wonder if these guys, some of these guys have had captains. I know they practice quite a lot all the time together, so 
maybe they thought it was the best strategy then. Mm. I tell you what though, Easy Fusion is getting close to Gilbert, so I don't think he'll catch him by the end, but Gilbert is going to have to be careful he doesn't make any penalty, uh, penalties or mistakes or whatever. Yeah, he's still in a couple of fourth place, and uh, don't forget, Easy Fusion and Unity, they're going to help their teammate try and close in on the championship, but so far, looks like Red Bull's going to be the massive gainers in the constructors so far. But the Ooh, Steerage is gaining. Steerage is again closing up to Hamilton, but again, I think it's going away on the stage. But to be honest, they probably. I think. Uh, <laughs> I think Hamilton must uh, anticipate these situations because this is the sort of the second week he's done this in a row. I mean, Japan, yeah, it was understandable, but here, there's two massive straights with DRS on them. And he's still just, sort of just gently cruising away from him in the straight. So, um, yeah, no wonder Steer is just catching back up to him in the corners. But, um, yeah, I'm not too sure how, if... I haven't really been looking at the penalties, but I'll have a look real quick, see if any of them have got any more. No, Steer is just stayed the same. Hamilton has also stayed the same. So Steer is still going to have to pass and clear by three seconds if he wants to win. further than Mexico I think probably even to Brazil which is it's it, 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 it's going to be absolutely tight but we've seen how close it is in RDR2 as well on Xbox but I think they've been even closer but RDR1's obviously mm. decided but obviously two steers haven't been decided yet and uh... yeah the lot Chase surprise he's just unreal I mean <laughs> he's so quick no wonder he's won it by Japan. I mean, everybody's took an ILR1, but the Loche surprise. I mean, oh, guy's mental, but steer it. He doesn't quite do it. He doesn't, he doesn't commit enough. And the lock up again. He, he just locks up in that corner every single time. But those two run no assist, so this is the two you can run assist. And uh, that's probably why those two are pulling away, because they both have. No assist, we've got three more laps to go. Three more laps to go, if I do my laps right. Rubbish maps, don't blame me. Alright, Jason, there's another penalty. Oh no, he's, <laughs> he's almost close again and getting another penalty if he's not careful. Because he, he almost ran off the track a little bit, so. It is tight. Oh no, if he doesn't get it done. This is about to the bitter end, but Jason is going to take the left hand side. Oh, he yeah, touched! Sorry. They touched crazily there. Uh, I think Jason got it done there. But I think it was. Ooh, back up the inside. Was that he's right? about to take the long way round. Maybe get the switch back. You see, a lot of people do, and he does. He'll have to go around the outside again, though. He doesn't. He doesn't want to tempt those ultras anymore. Zanardi, very good at managing his temps. It has to be said, I would have thought he would have definitely spun by now. But those ultras are staying at bay for the minute. Yeah, they're keeping him close. He might practice to know that it might have gone this far further into the race, but to be honest, I don't know. Pretty tight. But, oh. Looks like Sirius had a lead for a minute there, and then he's... Oh, oh no. Maybe that six seconds he's gonna to have to clear by. So it's pretty much the win for Hamilton. Which means it will go Unless on. Hamilton has an absolutely um disgusting last couple of laps, I think that's the only way Dewey's just gonna be able to win. But Hamilton's got four warning window in the sense that he can still pass and still win. Hamilton's in a position where he needs to be as well. He needs to stay ahead of him. In order to, you know, in order to make sure that he can go on to at least be the Mexico or Brazil. And that's oh, AJ there. just had a spin. Dump. Uh, AJ just had a spin, yes. That was unfortunate. It looked like he was doing donuts for a minute then, but obviously, obviously he wasn't. So, that probably cost him less time, I don't know. But, we'll just... 
we'll just have to see how this plays out towards the end. I'm trying to get my mic close to my face. That will be easier. There we go. Uh, I think Jason lost it. No, Jason hasn't lost it yet. He's still got Zanali right ahead, but Zanali's already... He's already losing it a little bit, so... Um, I had a feeling, to be honest, Steerage was going to get that second penalty. He was a... Uh, he lost it a bit on the straights and uh, he lost it a little bit there, so... Yeah, I think um, the award for loneliest driver at the moment is probably going to have to go to Blair for affinity. I mean, he's 17 seconds behind Fusion and he's 18 seconds ahead of Jason. So, uh, he hasn't had the most exciting race, has he? But he's going to come home with P5, so it's all worth it. It'll be worth it for Lepper. He's been avoiding trouble pretty much all race and uh, he's going to get some good points for the Haas car, so... Oh, we see uh, Williams go, that's Easy Fusion. Was that Easy Fusion? No, it wasn't. Oh, did someone go wide? Who was it? It might be just an it's, it's probably just me. Anyway, I'm on the final lap and it uh, looks like Hamilton's going to be where he needs to be in order to close the gap between him and Steerage. Not by a lot though, but still quite a decent amount so he's in a very good position to make sure that he I think he, I think both of them want the championship fight to go on as long as possible as long as possible because they like battling each other so that's what I like as well but uh, I think Hamilton's short back on the speed in the, in the straight line has probably helped him a little bit um, in terms of uh, pulling away and stuff and, Hamilton just initially has a better start. Oh, steerage very close this time. I think he's just going to want to get ahead of Hamilton this time just for pride. I still don't think he's going to get it done. No, he's nope. not. Hamilton has shut the door on him as he has about four or five times beforehand. He's just not getting anywhere near side by side with him. No. I'm too sure what the yellows are for. We'd look. I don't know. No one's running incredibly slow. Dunbar is in the pits, but why is he in the pits even though there's one lap to go? But maybe he might be struggling on that. Steerage almost got Hamilton there. But Hamilton's forcing the line to take the win. But it would have been very close if it was for penalty. It would have been two tenths per second. Mm. So. And uh, you, so well done to Hamilton for uh, winning his third race in a row. That is just incredible. He literally got the line for his second podium in a row. He's fusion fourth. Leopard's going to come across the line pretty soon and take his best result of the season. And yeah, the pretty much the podium results is pretty much the same as last week. It just goes yeah. to show the league of their own the top three are. In different ways. Here comes Affinity for P5. Well, He's got rainbow tyres on my screen. That's always a good sign. As uh, Jason's going to cross the line in sit, but I think Zanali's going to go ahead of him. Haven't seen the penalty for these two, so it's going to be close. So Jason crossed the line in sit, but I don't think it's going to be on track though. No, it's not. Zanali gets sit. Dark Phoenix has got a couple more calls to go as well. AJ and the two Salvers have finished, 11th and 12th, lap down. And uh, we've got Titan Prime and Dome Thunder as well to cross the line. And then that'll be it for the United States Grand Prix. So we've got Mexico, Brazil and Abu Dhabi as the final races. Should be three very good ones. And yeah, we're just waiting for Dome Thunder now and then Pretty much that's it, but Hamilton controlled the race from start to finish and uh, he is happy with that result. Okay. Well done to him. We're about to get the standings yeah, up there. I'll get, I'll get them for interviews in a sec as well. Oh, brilliant. Because obviously I... And, and if you have any questions in the chat, also please do let us know. Because obviously we have questions, but you may think of some... Uh, other questions. Hamilton's done what he needs to do to 
keep his championship hopes alive. It's going to be a tough order for the top two, really. He's probably want to stay ahead of steerage, really. It's going to be ever so tight. We're going to watch these guys battle to the bitter end of this championship. Apparently, Dumb Thunder got a time penalty in the last corner. No, I mean a punch in the last corner, I mean. Oh, no. So that's costing him a position. But he's still in temp, so not bad. So we've got Hamilton in first, Steerage in second, Unity in third, Easy Fusion fourth, Leper fifth, Zanardi sixth, Jason seventh, Dark Phoenix eighth, and Titan Prime ninth, and Dome Thunder rounding up your top ten. And we've got Atlantis and Ados, your only non finishers. And obviously, Rapid could not take part in the start due to a power cut. And he started from pole. What could have been for him? Would he have got that win, do you think? Um, yeah, I think that's a well-deserved win. I think, uh, not sure he was going to get a driver of the day because I think, actually, no. I cut that. Zanardi's getting driver of the day in my book. To keep nice in to those, those um, when, yeah, 15 to 6th as well. That is incredible stuff. And it's like... So, we're going to so, yeah, get... I'll get them, I'll invite them all in. I think she have all of them and I don't, you see, so... so... I just go to the lobby. Oh, yeah, good shout. Uh, so, uh, we've got... Obviously, Hamilton and Stewart has pretty much been on the podium for quite a lot this season. It's pretty much their uh, their home, really, to be honest. Which is quite nice for them, anyway. And we at least we got the top two. We'll, we'll, we'll wait for Unity. He is he is uh, known to join quite late in the party, anyway. But we may as well start with uh, Ham Hamilton there. Well done on an yeah, another win. You got a very good start there in uh, turn one, and pretty much you stayed in P one. For all of it, and that's all you need to do to keep your uh, hope, hope, hopes up for closing then gap to uh, steerage. Another third win in a row. How does that feel? Uh, yeah, it's nice to win a lot now, like winning three in a row. But I'm not really bothered about winning. I mean, yeah, it helps like my cause to try and close the gap to steerage in the championship. But I'm doing all I can to do that but it's impossible now like if i win all the races george is still gonna end up winning the championship if he doesn't retire any of them so i mean it's nice to win them but i i, I can't really do much about winning the championship so basically um so all, also all you're hoping is to uh, have a little bit of a on a few rounds and uh, that'll get your hopes up a bit but uh, but only joking um but you still want to battle uh steerage on these last couple of races don't you because uh you you two have been battling pretty much the whole season you've been looking unstoppable yeah it's always fun to battle with steerage because we're really equal on pace but uh i mean i do hope he has a slight mistake that ends up him retiring in a wall but that's what i need but yeah, it, it's just fun to race. Like, even if I don't win, as long as I'm battling steerage for most of the race, like I have been, then it, it's good enough for me. So what? So what are you gonna do to make sure you stay ahead of steerage in uh, Mexico? Then is Mexico your strongest track? Uh, it's an alright track. It's not my strongest. It's not my weakest. But I feel like I've got some tricks up my sleeve to pull out and. Do something special and hopefully get another win. We're well, keeping our fingers crossed. You uh, take take the battle right on as well. Um, Jack, would you like to interview uh, Steerage? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Um, don't let him a lap. You always have the questions, but um, yeah, I, I, I um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I never do the questions, you oh, do it. Oh, 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 fine, I'll do it if you want. I'll do it, it's fine. I, 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 I... Sorry oh, about God. that. Anyway, uh, Steerage there, um, se 
second place, second place there, not enough for the Ready win. Ready to pair. But oh, fuck. you've had, oh my god, you had, you, you had a good <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit of a moment. Oh my god. Um, not enough for the win today, Steerage, but you were hoping that uh, you were getting a podium anyway, and you are hoping to do the podium interviews anyway, after a good day you had. So, is that a win in your books, still being able to get a podium today? Um, yeah, it's, it's, in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's a pleasing result. Um, I guess, really, my aim now is on the championship. Obviously, uh, Hamilton, like you said, is doing everything he can, and he's really bringing the pace to me. Um, I'm trying to stay with him as much as I can, which I think has been the case for the last three or four races where I've just been tucked behind his gearbox for the entire race. But yeah, just couldn't really find enough speed to get past. I uh, tried a couple of moves. Maybe I was too cautious, but again, thinking about that championship. So um, yeah, it's just the long term really. So, But yeah, P2 is good and uh, yeah, on to Mexico. And how, 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 how are you... Uh... Uh, coping with the with the tyres throughout that battle because it looks like he had a bit more pace in the corners. Did you have to conserve a little bit whilst you were battling Hamilton? Um, to be honest, apart from sector one, uh, the dirty air wasn't affecting the tyres too bad. I noticed it through the S's. Obviously, with the uh, with the dirty air, you're trying not to slide too much because then the front tyres start to overheat. So managing that a little bit, downshifting an extra gear just to get that extra turn in little bit gentler on the throttle um, but the softs were a lot easier to manage than the supers I mean on the softs as soon as we both pitted um, I was pushing all the way it's a shame that my pit crew weren't alive and ready because I lost another two seconds which seems to be a recurring theme yeah. um, but I managed to make it up and then just pushing him all the way hoping he'd make a mistake but uh, yeah he drove really well so um, yeah he deserved the win and he's doing everything he can so move on to uh, hopefully get more battles next week I hope, I hope so as well. And uh, I don't know what the per the permutations are for next week, really. Um, not entirely sure, but uh, I I, I, can't, I can't really. Go. I think if I win, think if I win, I'm champion. But I'm not entirely sure because I was second tonight, so the gap will be. Uh, it yeah, 44. 44. So if I win next week. Yeah, if I win next week, even if Hardy's second, it will go back to 51, so, uh, Hamilton, sorry, so, yeah. it'll be, yeah, if I win next week, but, it'll be tough, so, I'm not counting any chickens, so to speak. So, you're not becoming complacent, you're just going to take every race as it comes, that is, that is... Yep, definitely. So, uh, yeah, um, Jack had to go quickly, um, because his mic was playing up and stuff, but, um, Anyway, uh, we've got our second podium in a row for his second ILR race. Um, Gilbert, uh, Stephen, shall I say, well done on another podium. Was that the best you could have hoped for? Because that's another brilliant result for your uh, ILR, uh, well, your second ILR race. How's it feel? Uh, yeah, it feels good. Thank you. Um... I had a really good start, I had a lot of good traction off the line, uh, got down the inside of steerage actually, I think we were three wide for a little while, and uh, I probably should have run it in a bit more, but seeing as my, it was Hamilton in front, I didn't really want to do that, because I'm not going to be held responsible for taking my teammate out, if you know what I mean. Mm. Um, so now I sat behind them for the first few, like, few laps, and sort of like, it's hard to make that decision when I'm not, I'm not in the title race at all. So, I don't want to be the guy that decides it by taking either one of them out by trying to make a move that's not there. Um, so, it's more or less just trying to finish in a solid position without causing any issues. So, you're, put, so you're, pretty, much in, you're pretty much in P3 for mo most, most of the race. So, uh, you were just... We, well, I didn't really follow you as much because obviously you were... Um, trying to conserve your by time myself to again. Pardon? <laughs> I was floating around by myself again. I had like sort of six seconds gap behind, and about sort of ten-ish, ten to fifteen, in front. It's... You seem to be all right on. Those... It was just about maintaining gaps, really. Yeah, you seem to be all right with those soft tyres. Was it hard? Do you think in the, in USA to uh, on on your opening stint, especially? Because, obviously, there's another track which is very hard for tyre temp. 
Um, I don't know, to be honest. It just... Again, you don't want to be getting yourself involved with the two in front. They've got their own little title battle going on. And as long as I can manage the gaps behind me, I don't want to be... I don't want to be the guy to uh, ruin anything. But even though um, you're not going to be involved in the drivers' battle, you're uh, you may not know this yet, but you're, you're, you're you and your teammate are still in the champ uh, constructor championship battle as well. It's going to be a tough it's going to be a tough order, but you and Hamilton are quite are both quick drivers. Are you going to try and score as many points as possible to help your teammate um, help your teammate constructors? Um, yeah, I mean the the plan is to try and maximise every point that you can. Obviously, um, I just don't want to take too many risks in terms, like just in terms of the drivers' championship. If I can make a clean pass and a clean overtake, then I would. But to get up to their pace, you're sort of right on edge. Yeah. And when you when you're right on your edge. You make mistakes, so I'd sooner like drop it back to probably like eighty-five percent, guarantee a finish, and just pick up points. I'm not here to like, I'm not going to win the drivers' championship, so it's it's more or less giving Red Bull points. Yeah, so that is probably your focus there as well. And I think that's it for the questions. And we got, I think we got Jack back in the party. Any final words before we uh, wrap up? Yeah, good job, and I am so sorry for what just happened. <laughs> no worries, Jack. <laughs> we had moments that Mike's uh, play up, and uh, <laughs> so it, it happened. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We are back next week in Mexico. I almost forgot the trap there. <laughs> Well, um, basically all uh, do is score, do is he's go out, score Hamilton by seven points, or win the race, in order to uh, make sure that he wins the title. But if uh, Hamilton outscores Sewage, it will be taken to Brazil. So we got an interesting title fight on our hands, and uh, I'm glad we're going to be there to see it. So make sure you join us next week. Same time, same place at eight o'clock, and don't forget the PS4 race is still on Sunday to watch those as well. Have a good evening, everybody, and uh, 